I hope you're all enjoying the show. A food truck is bringing classic Cuban style sandwiches to San Antonio and the owner is so passionate about sharing these unique flavors with our city that he has imported most of the ingredients from out of the state. Clark is there now. Clark, I gotta know, what is the key to a good Cubano? All right, so far I have learned that the key to a good Cubano lies within the pork. So this is a mojo, and Carlos, tell me a little bit about this amazing sauce that kind of brings that pork to life. Uh, well, the mojo, what it is, it's, you know, it's basically the fresh orange, limes, okay, with, uh, garlic, cumin, you know, your salt and pepper, mm -hmm. okay, little bay leaves, okay, and they roast that pork. Okay, for about 12 hours, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race every <laughs> time. And it's really cool because you were telling me this is not like carnitas, like Puerto yep. Rican style or, you know, a meat that you usually find in tacos. It's very different putting it in a Cuban sandwich. So yes. we're going to be making a classic Cubano and a media noche. Let's start with the Cubano. What's the first step? Sure. First step you want to do is you're going to grab the Cuban bread mm -hmm. and then the butter and uh, you're going to spray the ends of the... Okay. So we have butter a and you put butter it on the flat top. Right onto the flat top. So I like that. Butter makes it better. And this flat top is so amazing. So you're the only Cuban food truck out here in San Antonio. Yeah, sure am. Uh, that's a huge deal. What inspired you to bring these flavors out here? Just tired of seeing tacos. <laughs> <laughs> no! I promise you, he's okay. He's so cool with that I'm San Antonio. Joking. I know, I know. Uh, but it's true, though, because I, I really have, I love Cuban food. And when I first moved out here, I Google searched Cuban restaurants in San Antonio and couldn't really find any. I know that there's one restaurant, but this is very different. Um, what's next? Okay, what you want to do is you want to grab the weight. Okay. okay you want to put it on this side. This side's a little bit not that hot. Okay. So you don't want to burn it so i press down yep just press down oh, on it see that's how it gets that consistency and then, Do I, is, and then is you okay? make sure you press down the other one okay see oh my gosh and so you get your ingredients from out of state this bread is yep. miami bread yes it is very havana very yeah. cute tell me about it <laughs> yeah i get my bread from a little bakery uh, out in miami mm -hmm. so i get it shipped every week once a week i'll get a the cuban bread and the media noche bread Oh my gosh, and it's very, very different. I mean, you can taste the quality of the yep. difference. Okay. So now since that's nice and toasty, mm -hmm. then you can go ahead and start putting your pork on the flat top. Okay, so the pork goes onto the flat yep. top. And you have other food items here as well. I noticed these little pastelitos in the corner, which yeah. I'm going to get one <laughs> after we shoot this because there's guava in it. Tell me about your menu. Okay, the menu is, uh, I basically do all types of styles of Cuban sandwiches. Okay, your classic Cubano, mm -hmm. media noche. Uh, the pan con bistec, you know, or also the croquetas preparadas. Right. Okay. All right, what's the next step in this one? Okay, the next step, you want to drizzle on one side some mustard. Of the bread? Yeah, the bread. All right. So we're Not too much, because... Shake it a little bit. I know you're very particular, so there's yeah. a way to make That's a Cuban good. sandwich. That's good. Because you don't want it to overpower the other yep. flavors. All right. Now you, you can add the pickles. Okay. To the okay. same side? To the same side. All right. Don't add too many pickles. How many would you say? About four to six. All right, let's stick with four because I'm not really a pickle fan, but I love okay. it in the sandwich. And now you're gonna grab the ham, heat it up on the flat top, one right. piece. A little ham on. Yep. All right, this pork looks good. Ham is heating. Yep. Okay. And then you're gonna grab that ham once the ham's nice and hot, mm -hmm. put it on top of the pickles. All right. And I, I cook a lot, so don't. <laughs> Don't be scared for me. I can handle the heat. Okay. All right, so you opened up this food truck. It's on Broadway. But yep. your story is incredible. So you got into a crazy car accident with your wife about two years ago. Yeah. It affected your business. You said that um, business hasn't been doing super, super well as you've come back into it. But you're really pushing for this product in San Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a real bad car accident leaving me, mm. you know, a drunk driver leaving me handicapped. Yeah. So... <clears throat> but you're still so passionate about yep. what you do. I mean, it's it's incredible. Now you can grab the, the pork and you uh -huh. put it on top of there. Okay, so I'll grab the pork, put it on top, and this okay. is the and cubano. Then, then you want to grab the Swiss cheese, put the Swiss cheese on top of it, cause it and it has to be Swiss cheese. Right, it has to be Swiss, yeah. and then the heat from this is going yeah. to melt. Now you grab the other bun, put it on top, and then you're going to press it. You're gonna with press the press again? With the press again. Okay, and we're going down. 
where can people find you? I wish we had so much more time to talk about your store because it really is incredible. Um, but if they want to come try a sandwich today, oh, yeah. how can they come find you? Uh, you can find me uh, at 4319 Blanco Road. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm open for lunch 11 to 2 today and tomorrow. Okay, uh, so you can also always on my social media mm -hmm. or you could uh, call in your order like they, it's nice and pre-ordered right ready to go for you oh carlos thank you so much for having me out we didn't get to the media noche but we're gonna shoot a separate <laughs> segment so we can get a little extra love roma so uh, you know how passionate i am about being in the community and actually getting out here his story is incredible if you have time i really think that you should come check this out i know you love your cuban sandwiches but take a look at this it oh. is so delicious i had a couple bites earlier and Man, you better take another bite and bring back that other half. It looks so good. I'm glad that Carlos is doing well now and we can go out there and support him and get some Cubanos.